Hello everyone, this is the recap of Deadpool and Wolverine. If you like it, then please subscribe. Let's get started, the movie begins with Wade Wilson, also known as Deadpool, digging up Wolverine's grave from the end of Logan. The Time Variance Authority TVA, arrives to bring Wade in, and he fights them off, a flashback shows Deadpool in 2018 meeting with Happy Hogan, where he attempts to join the Avengers, but Happy turns him down, the scene shifts to post-Deadpool 2, where Wade is now a used car salesman working with Peter on Earth 10005. During a surprise birthday party for Wade, attended by characters from Deadpool and Deadpool 2, it's revealed that Wade and Vanessa aren't together anymore. The TVA arrives to take Wade in. He meets Mr. Paradox, who tasks him with finding Wolverine. Wade then travels through different universes, encountering various Wolverine variants, including a short Wolverine, Cavalrine, Patch, and a Wolverine fighting Hulk for about 5 seconds. Eventually, he finds the worst Wolverine, a drunken, washed-up variant of Logan, Wade and Logan return to the TVA and try to bargain with Paradox, who has built a Time Ripper to cut off timelines. However, they are pruned into the void. In the void, Wade and Logan have their first fight scene with each other, which is interrupted by what appears to be Captain America, played by Chris Evans. Sabretooth and Pyro arrive to take them to their leader. It is revealed that Captain America is actually Johnny Storm, who is defeated by Pyro Logan fights Sabretooth, ending with Logan decapitating him, they are taken to meet Cassandra Nova, Charles Xavier's twin sister. She kills Johnny Storm. Wade and Logan escape after Cassandra summons Alia, after escaping, they encounter a kind variant of Deadpool, played by Reynolds but without any scarring, and Dogpool. This Deadpool variant sends them to the Borderlands to find the Resistance. They travel in a minivan, stopping for a second fight scene, which is noted as one of the best in the movie. At the Borderlands, they meet Elektra, Blade, played by Wesley Snipes, Gambit, played by Channing Tatum, and X-23. They agree to team up to defeat Cassandra Nova by using Juggernaut's helmet to block her powers. Logan convinces Cassandra to help them by telling her about Charles Xavier and how much he would have cared about her had she known him. She uses a sling ring from a Doctor Strange variant to send them back to Earth-1005. After they leave, Pyro tells Cassandra that Paradox has reneged on their deal, prompting her to follow Wade and Logan through the portal. Back on Earth-1005, Wade and Logan team up to defeat an army of Deadpool variants, including Lady Pool, voiced by Blake Lively. In this scene, Wolverine puts on his iconic mask, which is a highlight, they then go to save the Time Ripper from Cassandra Nova, who plans to use it to send all worlds to the void. They successfully thwart her plans, resulting in Cassandra's death. B-15 arrives to arrest Paradox, the movie ends with Wade and Logan eating shawarma. Wade then takes Logan to meet the rest of his crew. Logan insists that Wade talk to Vanessa again, leading to a hopeful reconciliation. In the post credit scene, Deadpool is seen re-watching TVA screens showing the part where Johnny Storm swears in Badmouth's Cassandra Nova. Saying, you can quote me on this. Deadpool humorously uses this footage to prove Johnny's innocence. This movie is filled with numerous callbacks to Fox movies and MCU references by Deadpool, making it a fun and nostalgic ride for fans.